Hi, my name is Dennis, I'm a professional software developer, and this is my course on vectorization. I'm gonna start with a small demo. This is QuickBench. For those of you who don't know, QuickBench is this website where you can uh, hack and run a small benchmark. As far as really high quality benchmarks go, this is probably not it, uh, but uh, it will do for a demo. Okay, so what am I doing? I wrote this while um, loop that is my implementation of Sterland, the way you would write it in the school, like while not zero plus plus. And I'm gonna compare it against standard Sterland on about a thousand bytes. To be clear, thousand bytes is a bit much for like a typical Sterland benchmark, but for a demo, it will do. All right, and what we'll see is that standard Sterland is about 29 times faster than our while loop. Why is that? Well, standard Sterland is vectorized. Okay, uh, for the last few years, I have been learning how to vectorize classical algorithms, things like linear search or reduce or scan. And I think you should know this uh, because you want to know what's possible. You want to know uh, uh, what kind of speed ups can you get, how difficult it is to do and how expensive it is to maintain. And if you know all of those things, you can decide to whether like, to use it in your project or not. Um, finally, I'll mention that uh, vectorization is available in many languages uh, and in exposed in different ways. We're going to be using C++ and we're going to be using this Eve library. Right? You don't have to. The concepts uh, should be uniform uh, and the same everywhere. It's the same instructions, the same processors. But still... Uh, so Eve is this library maintained by Joël Falcou, uh, jean tri Laprest, sorry for butchering that, and me. And it exposes a lot of CMD capabilities for uh, x86 and ARM. Uh, yeah, and the algorithms we're going to be looking at are going to be implemented here. Okay, and that's it for today.